Hello there, YouTube. It is your boy, B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. Today, we are talking about another Ray Harryhausen film. I'm actually running out of Ray Harryhausen films. Uh, <laughs> and this one's one of my least favorites, which is why it's happening towards the end. The Three Worlds of Gulliver. It's based on uh, Gulliver's Travels, obviously. It's from 1960. It's a family fantasy adventure film. Uh, an hour, 40 minutes or so. You can watch it on Fubo TV, Vudu, Amazon Prime Video, YouTube, Google Play Movies and TV, or if you're me, the special edition DVD. You know? And it's got a 6 out of 4, and sorry, I'm a, I'm a dumb of myself, a 6.4 out of 10 on IMDb, an 83% on Rotten Tomatoes, and 80% of Google users liked the film. A little quick read up here. Surgeon... Lemuel Gulliver, played by Kerwin Matthews, a name that you've heard on this channel before, assuming you've bothered <laughs> keeping up with all these reviews I do, wants to explore the world before his marriage to Elizabeth, June Thorburn, despite her wishes to the contrary. He sets off on a ship, but is reunited with Elizabeth when he discovers she's hidden aboard. The reunion doesn't last long, however. A storm leads Gulliver to a strange land inhabited by tiny people called Lilliputans. His journey then takes him to a rival land called Blefushku, and finally to a land of giants named... <laughs> Anyways, its initial release was November 30th, 1960. Directed by Jack Scher, adapted from Gulliver's Travels, distributed by Columbia Pictures, music by Bernard Herrmann, and special effects, you guessed it, Ray Harryhausen. Now, this is kind of the same team that did Jack the Giant Killer and The Seven Voyages of Sinbad. Jack the Giant Killer wasn't Ray Harryhausen's stop motion. It was well done stop motion, but the armatures didn't look as good. I have reviewed both those films, though. And this film, it's good. Like, it's a genuinely good family adventure film. Uh, and a lot of the effects, I'm looking at them, and I'm like, how the fuck did they do that back then? Like, there's some effects in this movie where you're just like, how the fuck did they do that back then? <laughs> I mean, now you could do, now a teenager could do this with green screen for a lot of this stuff. But, like, you look at it and you're like, I just, I don't know how they did that in 19 fucking 60. And it's really impressive. Still, it's impressive to this day that they were able to pull it off. Um... There's not a lot of the creatures that Harryhausen is known for in this. Like, you got like a giant, I think they called it a crocodile, but it looked more like an alligator to me now that I think about it. Eh, who knows. Uh, and there's like a squirrel, a giant squirrel, or at least they're giant to Gulliver and Elizabeth. I mean, they're normal sized to the giant people. And there's not much like that Gulliver has to deal with. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when he's the giant. But I mean, it's, you know, kind of a social commentary, satirical. Uh, and those aspects of it also still hold up. I mean, governments and just feuding people are always going to be just fucking stupid. Honestly. <laughs> They're always going to be self-centered assholes. So Gulliver's uh, little run in with alternate versions of people's here you know that's always going to be relevant so it still holds up as a social commentary uh the special effects you know are still really cool the acting isn't the best i mean like even for 1960 i feel like maybe the acting isn't the best but oh well when you watch an old movie and the acting's not great you're like okay yeah i mean we've just learned over time you know it's fine but it's, it's like, eh, the acting's not so great. But special effects are fantastic. Uh, you know, the script is good. I just, I don't know, personally, like, I can acknowledge that it's a good film. But also, it's just kind of a little boring to me. I mean, whenever I'm watching through all my Ray Harryhausen stuff, it's typically last on the list, because all these other ones are like, oh, Sinbad's fighting a Cyclops. Oh, Perseus just cut off Medusa's head. And in this one, it's like, there's a bunch of tiny people, and they're cracking eggs different ways, and they're upset with each other about it. <laughs> Once again, it, it's, it's not supposed to be like those other films that Ray Harryhausen has done. It's not supposed to be like The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms or Sinbad in the Eye of the Tiger. 
and it's great. It, it, it does what it is supposed to do perfectly. But what it is supposed to do is not what I typically want to see when I pop in a Harryhausen film. And it's like, oh, you know, Harry, Harryhausen really just did like some of the stop motion and stuff for this. You know, I think some producing and stuff, you know, but his effects are just so memorable and good that any film he worked on is called a Harryhausen film. <laughs> and it's a great film. I feel like I should probably watch it more. But... It's it's just not my favorite. It's not the kind of film I usually watch, but it's better than the Jack Black one. It's better than the Jack Black Gulliver's Travels. But yeah, it is a fun family adventure movie. I feel like kids in the modern day might be kind of bored with it as well. I don't know. I guess you'll just have to watch it for yourself and find out. It's a good movie. It's just not the kind of movie I typically want to to watch most of the time. And that's just my personal preferences on films. You know, once again, I've acknowledged over and over, it's a great film. It's just not what I want. That's fine. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. If you want to rate, comment, and subscribe, check out all, all, all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Next review. Um, why, I don't know what the next review is going to be. I'm thinking Zillafoot. Uh, a lot of you might be saying, what the hell is Zillafoot? It is an, an indie film from SRS Cinema. We'll get around to it, but that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.